Hey you guys, it's Anne Marie. Today is should have listened to the signs when they presented themselves Saturday. <laughs> so a couple weeks ago, this is my first sign, I bought this splat hair color. It was like imperial, um, some like violet type of thing, right? Didn't do it, so today I was like, oh, I'll do it because there's something I was going to get into tonight. And second thing, never do something like this rushing. So then I opened up the box. Third thing, the gloves malfunction. And so I was like, oh, I'll just use bags. Well, it got all over, if you can see, all right here, <laughs> my ear, my neck, it's raw. Because I found out you could use a magic eraser to get rid of it. But it um, messed my face and my skin up really bad. It's, it's not, I didn't mess it up. It's just um, really sore. <laughs> so, universe said, well, you learn a hard lesson, Anne-Marie. You're, you know, and so, which is true sometimes. So, I've learned my lesson. Alrighty, so I have a surprise for you. I have two new decks. This is the Soul's Journey. So, we're going to pull a couple cards from this. I'm the divine, I'm divinely protected. No weapon gets me ever sharp prosper. I call into all four corners, kernels, kernels, <laughs> corners, and all four elements for divine guidance and protection. My ancestor, spirit guides, creator, Gaia, Mother Earth, for providing everything we need. Okay. My next deck I got. Asking the divine, our ancestors and spirit guides, what messages we need to get. So, um, for the soul's journey, hmm. I can read these on my own. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. I can't make it up. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Action, action, we want action. A-C-T, I-O-N. <laughs> Air and fire dragon, expand your creative energies. Harness your creativity, excitement, and enthusiasm. Communicate your passion. Oh, my eyes are burning still. Excuse me. Just got some sweet tea. Orange Dragon. Bring soul families and communities together. Spreading belongings, warmth, and oneness. Bring people everywhere together. Archangel Gabriel's Dragon. Brings purification. Self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. You can carry Archangel Gabriel's Diamond. You know, this is like true across the board for anything. You will ascend, you will grow, whatever it is that you're trying to do better in your life if you do the work. That's how you can really tell um, when things, <laughs> or you're on the right path. 
it'll seem like everything's falling down, but it's really not. It's your, your higher power um, removing things that don't serve you. You're asking for a certain life, but your environment isn't set up for it yet. You're unable to manage a certain situation or whatever um, because it keeps playing some trauma bond or cycle for you. And that's not going to serve you to where you want to go and where your highest self wants to go and where your higher power wants you to go. And I've been supporting you. Because you're not accepting the things you cannot change. You start accepting it on all, on all things. And you have to trust your, your higher self, your voice. Your spirit's never going to lie to you. You don't need to ask outside of yourself what you need to do for your life. Because you're the one who has to make these changes. You need to tap into your creative energies and, and find that fire back in, that, that, that you have lost or told that you don't have. Yeah, because it's expand your creative energies. Yeah. By you purifying your life, your environment, and you can call into Arch, if you believe in the Archangels, you can call into Archangel Gabriel for this. Like we were talking the other night, you will start to bring in the energies and the soul family and the people that are supposed to be in your life. <laughs> and even as another video I reposted, and that even when you do, if you haven't learned a lesson, that lesson will present itself again. I have had a, a repetitive energy of um, allowing certain things. And once I realized how that pattern was in a lot of things in my life, I had to cut it out no matter what. Spirit told me, if this is what you really want then you are going to have to be willing to sacrifice whatever we guide you to sacrifice for this. But you have to put in the work. I wasn't expecting to be like this. <laughs> but it's amazing because you find the power within yourself. And not relying on outside sources or people's wherever to validate what you already know to be true for you. You're going to have to be the bad guy. You're going to have to be the one... You know, sometimes some of us are seers that what people, other people can't see. And we, some of us know things that other people don't know. We, I, I even forgot that sometimes. Like, oh, I forgot people. Don't, <laughs> forgot they don't know who I am. You've forgotten who you are. You have um, allowed outside energies to dictate why you haven't gone further in life. Maybe it's the energies around you that are keeping you stuck. And it's no judgment on anybody. There's, a, there's not a, uh, an elevator to this. And everybody has their own way of healing. I know the way, I mean, I know I was put here. My job, and I've said this before, is to trigger people. So a lot of people aren't going to like me. That's okay. I'm not used to that. That's okay. People who know me genuinely, if they don't, that's okay. I'm not pressed about that. That's what Spirit wants me to do. If you win, I win. If I win, you win. We all win. It's always been said. It's nothing new. Self-healing is healing everybody else. I don't wish bad on anybody who's done me dirty. I can't. A true-to-life empath, a being is myself, who truly feels of others. If I do you dirty... I steal from you, throw dirt on your name, speak untruths. It's doing it right back to me. <laughs> that self-hatred is over. I can't do that to people. And you shouldn't allow people to do that to you. You have this beautiful light. If you could accept and understand that not everybody can go on the journey with you. Not everyone's going to understand your light. Not everyone's going to understand your purpose. And that's okay. You need to start trusting yourself and understand that whatever it is that you've been working on, whatever that you've been fighting for, that 
by expanding yourself in creative ways, you're going to attract these energies you really want. Come from a good place, a loving place. And none, listen, none of us are perfect. And that's, that's just 10 to 9 o'clock. So I'll leave it there. So anyway, um, I wanted to get shorter ones out for people who don't like the drawn out ones. So anyway, this was just a quick message. I hope everybody has an amazing, beautiful Saturday. Um, I'm hoping to still go where I was going to go. Um, but we'll see because I'm really sore. Thank you for joining me. I hope everybody has a beautiful day. I hope that you're happy, healthy, and full of joy and love. May you love and be loved. Thank <laughs> you.